Hello and welcome to this video about automating your business and at the moment we're taking a look at the new features of Zapier and one of their features is Canvas and they have several templates that you can use for your business uh, for example this one is a lead generation form where people fill in their information and then it gets sent to a database and then Zapier checks if the lead is actually qualified or not. And based on that, uh, they perform a different action. And the great thing about this is that you actually can copy the best companies in the world because they have several templates. So you can just click on the one that's relevant for your business and get started immediately. Uh, the great aspect of that is that they have also implemented more and more tools uh, directly in uh, Zapier itself so you don't have to connect to tons of other tools anymore uh, because for example they have a form built in they're working on databases so everything is actually uh, built inside this tool uh, whereas in the past you had to connect to a ton of other tools as well to get it working but all these uh, dependencies yeah created problems uh, because a login could yeah, stop working and then everything crumbled. So Zapier is actually working on making sure that everything is integrated in their system and this will make everything more reliable over time uh, because as we all know, companies change, uh, login chains, so you don't have to uh, yeah, re-identify and everything will work uh, more reliably. And I think it's a great way to get started using several templates for example uh, they also have templates for a new uh, employee that signs up and there are a lot of useful features uh, you can obviously adjust these steps as needed and personalize them for your company but i think this will uh, take yeah the process to the next level because you have more options to adjust to the situation for example yeah, you don't have to make very complex structures or systems anymore. You can just use templates and work from there. And also these templates are a lot more visual, so it's easier to adjust them than before. And I think it will be an interesting race between using these templates and then what Claude is coming up with. And they are actually just using their AI system, so their chatbots. Um, that allows to, them to control your browser. So you just enter in what needs to happen and open a few windows. And then Claude can check if the information is present in the window or not, can do some searches if needed and uh, combine different forms as well. So I think it will be an interesting race between the approach of Zapier, where they yeah, use templates and try to integrate everything together. And then the other approach of Claude, where they actually try to use a chatbot or like an interface where you just type in your requests and then uh, the system tries to figure it out by itself. Uh, whereas Zapier, yeah, you need to have more input, so you have to create a system, but it could be more reliable in the long term. So I think for certain tasks that are very repeatable, uh, Zapier will be the best option. And then if you have some subtask, for example, updating a database or updating a form or websites, you can use the cloud system where it's more systems or more tasks that don't need to happen that often. So I see it evolving in that way in the coming years. Um, maybe if cloud becomes really powerful, it could take over the Zapier approach, but I think uh, both of them have their own merits and I'm very curious to see uh, how it will evolve in the coming months and years. So thank you for checking this video. I wish you a wonderful day ahead.